Hi, everybody. Still feeling I look like Larry King with my headband and glasses on. Anyway, hello. My name is Sarah Weight Watcher, Cape Cod woman. And today is a couple of just food finds um, for the summer fun. And um, just, just a little bathrobe chat. Whatever. Um, I believe... Let me look. I believe this is for the weekend, so this is a two-day one. Um, so let me make it juicy so it lasts. Got your coffee? I got mine. And look, a new color headband. Does the fashion show ever end here on this channel? Anyway, um, so I was reading somewhere because, as you know, I'm just a, um, a food blog just going to use the wrong word. <laughs> anyway, I love reading, reading books, reading food blogs, reading, 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 reading. And I did a little couch fest for a few hours the other day. It was delightful. Um, just reading, uh, watching YouTube videos with Dr. Furman, Dr. Hyman, Dr. Linton, Dr. Kahn. Just love all that stuff. And Somewhere along the line, somebody was talking about having unpasteurized milk and cheese products and the benefits of them. And I had no idea about probiotics that are in the unpasteurized dairy products. And although I don't eat a lot of them, um, as some of you know, with my fruits and my dairy and my meats, what I'm doing is doing the upgrade to a better quality, meaning the raw unpasteurized for the dairy and um, organic for fruits and vegetables and um, meat when available, raw, um, raw, duh, uh, wild seafood, um, wild shrimp, wild um, swordfish, cod, things like that. And so just little mini upgrades and um, everything's so expensive, I have to tell you. So um, I'm loving that I'm having a couple of salads a day. Yesterday was a three salad day. I mean, does it get better than that? I had my chopped veggies um, with an organic English cucumber. So peppers, um, organic English cucumber, both organic, half a tablespoon of the bolt house vinaigrette, and one tablespoon of crumbled feta. Um, kitty cat time. Kitty cat. Uh, I, so anyway, I had that. Oh, with chopped red onions and um, delish, delish. That was one salad, tiny, tiny, like only about in a glass jar that big. Then I had a larger size uh, red leaf lettuce, organic, with my um, two organic apricots, one kiwi, and two tablespoons of the cilantro avocado bolt house that I just got. It's just a light summer salad, had that. Then I had my great big salad. But anyway, um, yesterday, I did go to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods for a couple of things, and it's funny because the things that I went to these places for were out of those things, and it's summer, so and it's Cape Cod, so I guess it's busy. So you'll have that. So anyway, I just want to show you. This is healthy and chopped veggie mix from Trader Joe's. And I think it's only $2.99 or something, so the work is done for you, right? And this is a great add-on to the salads. This went in my um, organic English cucumber feta cheese salad as well. And in this, so it's kind of fun, are broccoli, carrots, green cabbage, red cabbage, jicama, jicama, uh, green bell peppers, radishes, and celery. And um, I don't think it's organic, but... Um, You know, it's packed with all this stuff. It's a great add-on to your lettuce with a couple of tablespoons of dressing. And you've got yourself a nice little salad. So I went, got that at Trader Joe's. But then I went looking for this raw, unpasteurized cheese. I use almond milk or cashew milk in my cereal that I have every day. So um, getting unpasteurized milk isn't something that I would be getting, but I am interested in the cheeses. So I went to Whole Foods, and as you know, I want my ashes when I die spread over Whole Foods. I'm having so much fun with them in the summer. 
and their gluten-free pizzas were there yesterday, but, it, you know, it's, who knows? Um, the organic lentils and the organic chickpeas were not there, but I did get an organic um, little basil plant to make with the um, tomatoes and the um, fresh mozzarella with the um, balsamic vinaigrette on it. That's a delicious little um, summer treat, too. And uh, do, do you think all I do is think about food, buy food, prepare food? I think you're right. Every now and then I'm a case manager at the shelter. But, so I got two things of unpasteurized cheese, Le Gruyere, um, Le Gruyere, Gruyere from um, Switzerland. And this is, so it's the full fat cheese. Oh well, um, one ounce is uh, 80 calories though. So I think this is part of the um, Swiss family. So I will have this either um, cold. I got some uh, gluten-free bean uh, Breton bean crackers that I had on a um, video find, a grocery haul, and they're delicious. They're very light and delicate, and they break when you put something on them. <laughs> you know, you put my cottage cheese, but they're delicious. And I also got some little Melba toasts that were um, gluten-free. Parmesan garlic, I think. I haven't had those yet. So as I as I work through my wasa bread and my um, Melba toast, I will be moving on to the gluten-free ones. Not because I'm celiac, but because they just digest better. I just feel better having them. The next um, is Organic Valley Raw Jack style cheese. And this is, once again, it's unpasteurized Jack style. Organic cultured unpasteurized milk and uh, one ounce is 100 calories. And so one ounce is 20% uh, of your calcium. So I don't know if this is because they're unpasteurized that the calcium, I don't know. What do I know? Um, trying to see the calcium. Sorry, can't, oh, 30% in one ounce of this cheese for your day. So. If you're making smarter choices <clears throat> and uh, better quality, something like that, look at that. Um, technically, if you had one ounce of each, you would be at 180 calories for the day with 50% of your calcium. That's kind of cool. But I wouldn't be having two ounces of cheese in one day. Um, in fact, I will probably have three quarters of an ounce of each one of those to kind of keep it on the same level as um, the Baby Bell's the low-fat ones that are one point, trying to keep it at one or two points for sure. So um, those were my food finds, and um, I'm having a great time. And no, as far as grades for um, going to the uh, the um, farmer's market, I have not been yet. I'm finding Whole Foods is the um, equivalent. And so anyway, I um, life's pretty good. Um, I had a rough day a few days back, and um, not being familiar with uh, a cranky from <laughs> from the start day, it just kind of surprised me. I worked my way out of it. I actually talked to my boss, and that went well, and um, she calls it a growing edge. And, and so we have, the, we have those days, and um, it, we don't have to deviate from our Weight Watchers plan. We don't have to um, have things that aren't put on the tracker. We don't have to do those things. So I was, I was delighted by the, um, actually, I didn't even have to get much past 9 o'clock. Um, I went to my AA meeting. I had my walk. I had my delicious salads, as I said. I had all kinds of fruits and veggies through the day. I even had my skinny cow ice cream sandwich that I had planned and tracked, the four points. And so it was a pretty good day. And, um, you know, I think, the, I think the thing about the tracking and being um, here for almost 13 months with my Weight Watchers program and my tracker um, and my much better choices, much better, better choices, is I'm feeling... I feel good, I, and, and I, can, I can pull myself out of something before doing the damage. I don't have to do the damage control so much. I can do, um, you know, I can, I can save it 
it's like I can get off the elevator before I go all the way down into the parking garage in the basement. Um, I can get off at the third or fourth floor. Um, feeling the feelings, owning the feelings, feel and deal and heal. I guess that's what we say in the program. So I ended up having a great day, and today um, I have two walks planned, two four-mile walks. And um, I only work four hours today. It's the staff meeting, and that's always fun. Um, and so I have my salads made. I made them yesterday for my work day with my cherries, my grapes, and um, and I will be picking, I think, a cheese to bring with me too, a little, little nosh of cheese, no crackers. And um, so that's my day. And I'm going to use my veggetti tonight with um, some uh, turkey meat sauce that I made with um, pumpkin as well as tomato. And um, that's kind of one of my winter things, but it was in the freezer. So I'll be having that. And so uh, it's, a, it's, a great, it's a great day. And cats are happy. I'm happy. I'm about ready to take my walk. So I just wanted to show you my couple of little finds. Um, if any of you have any experience with having raw unpasteurized cheese versus um, pasteurized cheese, and is there a difference? Because obviously I haven't cracked them, so I haven't tasted them yet. Just wondering if there is a difference in the upgrade. There sure was in the price, but that's okay. It's kind of fun. And, um, you know, I'm not buying bigger size clothes uh, every month. So I guess my savings on that can be my, my uh, food money. Anyway, I hope you're having a grand day. And um, this was just kind of an all-over-the-board um, little chit-chat with my um, different color headband. Have a wonderful day. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. I will see you the next time. Until then, this has been Sarah, Weight Watcher, Cape Cod Woman. Bye-bye for now.